Hi guys, I'm Dan Hoff, Chief Operating Officer of Honey Stick, and today we are doing the reshoot for the Extreme Wax Tank. Now we did have a video up here that we launched about six months ago. YouTube did remove the video, and they gave us some constructive criticism on what can and cannot be in there. So we are reshooting this according to their standards. So I'm going to give you a little disclaimer before you get too far into the video. If you guys are waiting for a wax and dab test and or a puff, it is not going to be on this video. So I might have saved eight minutes of your life. So go in and like this video and subscribe to this channel before you keep watching forward. <laughs> well, but I am going to give you guys the technical specs and the rundowns. And the plus side here is that I did have six months of getting you guys' feedback. So I can probably give you some more tips and a little bit more on the uses of the tank that will be relevant if you are looking to make a purchase decision or if you have one of these things and are looking to find out exactly how to use it. So let's jump into the tank. As I mentioned earlier, this thing is for wax and concentrates. So let's say any different type of textures from your, your crumbles to your solids to the batters, also, really, you know, like oils that harden. So let's say you have a syringe that you need to heat up before it even comes out of the syringe, like a hard paste. Even those will work in the CBD prescription or medicinal um, oils. Anything that is more liquid than that should go into a cartridge. So this is for the wax and daps. So the tank. This is a high power tank. It is sub ohm. Sub ohm meaning that the resistance of it is below one. So you are going to need a battery that is sub ohm compatible. One of the most common questions I get to for this extreme tank is will it work with standard stick batteries? And the answer is no. They just don't have enough power and the resistance levels don't pair up. So the minimum battery that's going to work with this is like our stinger battery that is a stick battery but it's also about an inch thick so i would however recommend if you are going to have this tank to use a digitally adjustable mod battery that's 510 thread that will have at least a wattage range between 10 and 40 watts adjustable and another question that i got over these months is will temperature control work with this tank now, this tank does come with two coils, which we'll get into a triple coil and a ceramic donut. The triple coil is made out of titanium. So if you have TI mode on your temperature controlled mod, then you can be in TI mode and get a good temperature controlled vape if you want to dial into your temperature as opposed to dialing into your intensity using your watt or voltage controls. So the tank, it's a really high quality metal tank. We're going to unbox it. It comes in a nice little acrylic box like this. You're going to have a nice polished aluminum body. And it's also going to have a little glass reservoir, which is really handy because in that case, it does kind of look like an e-liquid tank for those people who want to roll discreet. It has a standard mouthpiece which is a stainless steel mouthpiece, but it also comes with a plastic resin mouthpiece as a replacement for those people who prefer to use that style mouthpiece. Now, the mouthpiece is a standard size adapter. So if there's a mouthpiece that you like from your favorite vape company, and as long as it's standard size, you can go ahead and switch them out. You just grab it, give it a little twist, pull on it, and you can pop the different one in. Now, I prefer the stainless steel mouthpiece just because it matches the body of the tank, and we'll get into how those pair with the batteries. Down here, you'll notice an air adjustment dial. This air adjustment dial is going to control the amount of outside air that you bring into your pull. Now, if you want a real concentrated pull, you would have this closed out, and your pull is basically restricted to what you are pulling out of the tank. If you want it to be a more aerated pull and bring in more outside air as well, so you could just inhale deeper, then you would go ahead and open this up. And as you could see, 
there's little little holes there that open then you can find your perfect spot of what works best for you now this tank does come with two different heaters the one that comes installed in the tank is a triple core is a triple quartz coil so it has quartz rods and it has actually titanium uh, heaters that wrap around those coils to provide the heat the way that you take this tank apart is it is a magnet so you grab the base it's a very strong magnet so you gotta grab the base and kinda wiggle it and separate let's go ahead and take a look right now and installed there you have the triple quartz coil I'm gonna use my little honey stick pen so my finger won't get in the way as you can see the outside of the coil the the bowl area is a white material that's ceramic so if you get concentrates in there it'll get so hot in here and the heat will bounce off the ceramic that it's still gonna do a good job of making sure that it vaporizes your concentrates the triple quartz coils lie across there and generally what you do is when you take your concentrates is you would place the concentrates gently onto the coil make sure when you're in there you're not poking around with your dab tools or your fingers and you go and throw one of those uh, coils out of place get your concentrates in there and make sure you don't overfill it above the white ceramic area if you go above the white ceramic area you've overfilled it and you run the risk of getting a splatter or getting leakage into the tank now this coil connects to the base the way that you would switch the coils from either going to when your coil might have burnt out which they do occasionally they have to be replaced which we sell five packs or if you want to switch over to your ceramic donut coil is you would just hold the base and you will unscrew the coil counterclockwise comes out and then you would take your new coil and you will place it in and then screw it clockwise you don't have to over tighten it you'll feel it just basically lock into place there the gaskets will meet now with this coil let's take a look at this is a ceramic donut so some of the benefits of the ceramic donut coil are that you can fit more concentrates in there so if you're packing up to you know roll out for the day you're gonna have to pack this coil less this coil does run at lower wattage the triple quartz coil I'd say you really have a sweet spot around 25 watts. You can run it as high as 30. I wouldn't really run it much above 25, maybe 22. But you do get a lot more heat and intensity when you're running at those high wattages, but you're also burning up some more concentrates. You know, you can't expect the gas mileage of a Lamborghini to be the same as a Prius. This one has a maximum wattage, the ceramic donut, of about 15 watts. However, your concentrates here last longer. A lot of people do say that the pure ceramic heaters, you get really good flavor notes off of it, even though it's not as intense as the uh, the tri coils. So you get really good flavor notes. You can pack a little bit more into it, and generally they're a little bit easier to clean because if you're one of those people who wants to clean your uh, your coils out, you just get a Q-tip with some uh, isopropyl alcohol, swab up the inside very easy to clean to whereas here you do get some uh, some wax that will get trapped under those tri coils so if you're one of those meticulous cleaners you know you're probably going to enjoy the donut coil a little bit better but the starter kit comes with both and the coils are sold separately so if you like one over the other you can buy just five packs of donut coils or five packs of tri coils so once you load it up and as we said, be careful not to overload it. You're going to attach the magnet back on. You're going to hear it click into place. It's going to be a nice firm connection. Now, battery. I decide to use our sub ohm sport battery, which is here. It has a maximum output of 60 watts. It also has temperature control, TI mode. It's a really solid, sturdy battery. And coincidentally, when you screw the extreme on, it just looks like a match made in heaven. The colors just match. The sizes just match to where this is basically, these were built for one another. So we also wanted to make your lives easy. And if you wanted to get a kit because you don't have a battery, 
for a really good price, we have our Extreme Wax Kit, which has a sub-ohm sport battery, the Extreme Tank and its contents. Right here, the two mouthpieces and the instructions behind the foam. Now we should have a detailed video of this kit online, but this does give it to you at a bundled price so you do save some money and you get this cool impact proof case which will keep your device secure for transport and definitely really cool for storage. So when you do get your, your filled up wax tank onto the battery, what you're going to do is you're going to turn your battery on if you're turning it on for the first time. Click it five times. Most batteries will prompt you if it's a new coil or an old coil. If you're using it for your first time, you definitely want to hit the plus sign and go with a new coil because you are running, it'll generally run a little break-in period so it won't bring the voltage on as strong. It'll help uh, enhance the, uh, the lifespan of your coil. And then you would set the wattage, or if you're going temperature mode, you'd go into TI mode and uh, run the temperature. However, I have the ceramic uh, donut coil in there. What we want to do is, we'll just show you guys how the tri-coil lights up. Just going to get the tri-coil, we're going to switch it on. Click it on five times. It's a new coil. Let's put it to like 30 watts. We'll dim the lights. And we will fire it up. Hold on, we're just going to dim the other light. Alright, here we go. You should see the coils light up. Nice and nice little glow. And again, that's on 30 watts. You don't really want to run it much above that, and these coils are started off as cold. As they heat up, they will glow a little bit redder. So you'd fill it up, and you would be ready to vape. So these tanks are available on our website, as well as the replacement coils. So the Extreme Wax tank is a great tank for, for people who want a little bit more intensity a little bit more flavor and options over just some standard slim vape pens. And like I said before, if you don't have a sub-ohm battery, this kit is a great deal to get two components at a great price, which will really bring you into some high-end wax and dab vaping. So I hope that this video was informative to you. And if you guys want to check out the website, www.vapehoneystick.com, you could read and learn a little bit more about these products. Use my special promo code HONEY420 for 20% off this wax tank and lots of other cool devices. Make sure to follow us on Instagram on, hun on a Vape Honey Stick and Official Vape Honey Stick. Like us on Facebook. We do put some added promos there. And when you are sub-ohm wax and dab vaping, make sure that you guys are out there doing it responsibly, even if it is with an extreme tank. Thanks for tuning in, guys.